The manufacturing business has changed significantly over the course of the last 10 to 20 years. Given the change of what manufacturing is in this country, uh, we do not have a workforce developed to serve it. Me as a, as a student, I had problems learning. I regularly met with my counselor. We, we had a, you know, a decent discussion about why my grades weren't so great and why you know, I've been trying hard, but it's just, it just wasn't changing. Our philosophy here is that we need to give back so that we can continue to have this community grow and thrive and prosper. And the only way to do that is when businesses are giving both time and making investments financially into the community. I needed something with a teacher, something one-on-one. -on -one. There are multiple programs available, both at the local level and at the state level, that can help these at-risk youth get out of the, the, the pattern that they're in and get a, a, a career that is going to be meaningful and that's going to financially provide for them. Eventually, he introduced me to his program, the Youth Apprenticeship. That kind of got my attention instantly. And when he talked about a one-on-one -on -one teacher, that kind of sealed the deal. It was a window for me to, I guess, you know, bring myself back up from this hole I was digging for myself. Uh, when Justin first came here, he knew nothing about manufacturing. I don't think he had ever even been in a manufacturing plant before. This program kind of guided me on what it was like to be an engineer by working with engineers in machine shops such as Linquist. He goes through a pretty formalized training process where he gets exposed to the various disciplines of our business, machining, fabricating, and welding, painting, assembly. That whole mentoring process of these youth that develops leadership skills in our people, and we need those. <laughs> we need leaders here. Respect and communication are one of the main things I caught on to. I use all my life skills that I learn here at Linquist every day in class or with people I just meet. I think there's a number of benefits. Obviously the youth benefit, which I think is the most important thing. Secondly, the community benefits, because now it's creating uh, and helping develop the workforce of the future. You know, the benefits to us don't come till later. So we're making an investment in what we believe is going to be a longer term return on that investment. They make sure that I'm taken care of. I feel like I mean something. I think this is a safe place for them. People respond really positively, including youth at risk. They want the boundaries. They want to know where the boundaries are and, and how positive the kids have been. Uh, followed the rules, um, taken this seriously, worked hard when they're on the floor. I'd say you want to do more of this. Advice that I would give to some students or even kids who would want to change. The motivation is really what you need. If you're willing to change, it doesn't take that much effort since you want it. We now have a hundred manufacturers that are a part of this. And these programs are only going to grow to the extent that the manufacturers are willing to engage. Businesses are obligated in some way, shape, or form to make investments uh, and to be a part of solutions that are going to address some of the youth that are at risk in this community. I would say that this is probably one of the best longer-term investments we've ever made.